Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard and joining me are Donna Coble and Tom Ebeling of Forest Relief of Missouri, a 501c3 organization that's right here in the city of St. Louis. Um, but you guys are helping uh, with promoting and providing trees um, throughout our whole metropolitan area and really involved right now in some projects in the city itself, downtown. Right. We'll talk about right. that in a minute. But let's talk about our community and how can people just get trees from you you're growing all these trees we we're talking about in the last segment 24,000 trees at Creve Coeur Park okay what happens to those and how can we um, get those for our own neighborhoods or is that even possible it's pretty simple mm -hmm. we have what I would consider to be our flagship program is called project community and people who are interested in getting free trees for us for planting projects on public property or for neighborhood associations or for schools, churches, that sort of thing. There's a simple application on our website. We make an announcement in late spring or, or early early spring. It's really weather dependent on when the trees mm -hmm. are ready mm -hmm. and we open up the website and people make an application and it really is a first come first serve basis and they apply for their trees. We have some criteria they need to follow. We mm. want to make sure that they've got permission to plant the trees and right. that, they, that they have a plan, but there's no limit. It could be one tree, it could be many trees. And then uh, we go through them, Tom, make sure that, that everything's in order, and then we work with them to coordinate picking up the trees. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we're not, we don't have capacity to deliver to everybody individually, but we do deliver outstate a couple of times a year as well to make it easier for those communities to come get trees. Yeah. So, but, but it happens in the spring and it happens in the fall. And by the end of the year, we will have given away anywhere from 15 to 20,000 trees, so. Okay, so, and then you start the process over. How many years are you nurturing these young trees, Tom, you and your volunteers at Creek Corps Park? Uh, typically one to three growing seasons is pretty average. We get uh, the actual bare root seedlings like the the Arbor Day trees that your kids bring home from school mm -hmm. and may or may not forget in their backpack for the weekend. <laughs> but, so we get we get those it basically looks like a stick with roots yeah. on it uh, and then starting um, in the springtime we have volunteer groups that come out every Saturday and pot up those seedlings and and we grow those for a year and whatever is big enough to be given away at the end of that first growing season will be given away in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, and our the project community, our flagship program is three gallon trees. So those are typically three to six feet tall, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, whatever is not given away, we overwinter in our, um, we have a hoop house on the property at the nursery, which is currently where 12,000 trees are crammed in there for their long winter's nap. And then, uh, whatever we don't give away of those trees in the fall or typically what we do more around this time of year is we select the biggest and best of everything that we have there and we step those up into larger containers mm -hmm. um, and we have a different program where we provide larger trees to financially underserved and uh, areas and areas that have been struck with natural disaster so we take the best of our little trees and turn them into bigger trees and then give them to people that uh, need them a little bit more. Yeah. So a lot of those trees that uh, form our priority relief program, a lot of those trees um, that's becoming a bigger part, I guess, of our business per se, just because um, there seemed to be uh, a real increased demand for them. Mm -hmm. And it really started for us after the series of tornadoes that came through in 2011, especially in Joplin. Mm -hmm. And we immediately started stepping up production of those trees because we knew what they needed were really the bigger trees. Mm. And now what we find ourselves dealing with is uh, here six years later with Joplin, they've received over 8,000 trees. They're in pretty good shape. Uh, however, we have a new disaster to deal with, the emerald ash borer, which has now struck the city of St. Louis mm -hmm. and many other uh, surrounding areas. And so where production is gearing up even more for yeah. to make sure that we've got enough trees to help replace all those trees coming down. So you all are involved with removal of those trees and, and replacement. And we were talking in the last segment about getting the neighborhoods involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So we, um, we don't do so much of the removal part, actually. That's 
we those are city workers and contractors mm -hmm. and everything but where we come in is we have meetings with the city um, to say okay where is your greatest need where can we go help yeah. what part of the city needs these trees the most right. and then we organize an effort for those communities to plant the trees themselves yeah. as, as much as possible. Very good. All right, well, you guys are busy, and January is probably the perfect time to come in here. Because <laughs> in a couple really months, busy. we're not going to be able to see you anymore. For more information on Forest Relief of Missouri, visit moreleaf.org. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.